In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to delete files and folders within OneDrive. Now, if you are a user of OneDrive personal, so you've accessed your OneDrive library through Hotmail, Outlook, or live email accounts, you'll be able to do exactly what I'm going to do in this video. If you're a OneDrive for business user, the process is actually still the same. So although there are two different applications, you might have been provided OneDrive for business through your work, your school, your college, the process is still the same, so you can still follow along with this particular tutorial. Now you'll see here I am looking at the root level of my OneDrive library and I have lots of different files and folders here. How do we delete an individual file? Well, to delete a file, all you need to do is either right click on it, select it and use the options at the top or click on the three dots. Now we are looking to delete this file. So I'm going to, on this occasion, I'm going to right click on the file and choose delete. Now it's going to prompt me to make sure I do actually want to delete this file. So if I do, I'm going to hit delete and you will see the file has now been deleted from my library. If we want to delete maybe more than one file, let's go into a folder, let's locate multiple files. So we want to delete these two files, but not this one here. We'll simply select them both using the selection option on the left hand side. And then we're going to click on delete and then we're going to choose delete. And those two files have now been deleted. Now, finally, if you wish to delete an entire folder, all you need to do is right click on the folder and choose delete. Or if it's perhaps two folders you wish to delete, select them both using the check options on the left and choose delete and then click delete here. So those files and folders have now been deleted from my OneDrive library. However, the good news is they are not completely gone because what happens in OneDrive is your files go to a recycle bin. So we've deleted them. However, if we go and look in our recycle bin on the left hand side, we can see all of the files and folders that we have deleted it tells us where they were originally located. So if you maybe deleted a folder or a file and you can't remember where it was stored, this one, for example, was stored in the 2024 folder and inside a folder within that one called admin. And it also shows you when you deleted. So we can see basically the date that we deleted it. If you have deleted it previously, let's say the previous day, it will also show you the date. But in this case, because I'm doing this today, it just shows me the time and not the actual date. Now, from here, what you can do is if you want to delete an item fully from your recycle bin, so let's say we are definitely sure we don't need this sample Word document, we can simply go to the three dots and we can choose delete and then click on the delete button. Now that is now completely deleted. Okay, that will be gone. However, if I want to delete a folder or multiple items, I can simply check those. And then once again, I'm going to use the delete option and delete. And therefore, those have now been removed. Now your files will be placed into your recycle bin for a total of 93 days. Beyond 93 days, they will be completely removed. So you will no longer have access to them. It's not to say that you can't contact Microsoft to see if you can try and get those back. But the likelihood is they are going to be gone and you probably won't. However, if your files live in this recycle bin and you have decided, actually, I do want to keep that file, you've got 93 days to find the file, to select it and to choose restore or to right click and choose restore here. If I click on restore, you'll see that it will take it from my recycle bin and if I go to my files, it's going to put that file back into my documents library. Now I can't remember exactly where that particular file was stored, but I do know that it has returned it to this library. Let's jump back to recycle bin here because it might be the case that you have decided you want to delete everything in your recycle bin. How do you do that? Well, all you need to do is you need to just click on empty recycle bin rather than selecting all of the items, which generally works well if you've just got a few things. But if you want to delete absolutely everything, easiest way to do it, empty recycle bin and click yes. And those items will now be permanently deleted and removed from your OneDrive account. So you've got 93 days to keep them nice and safe and decide if you want to. If you decide to permanently remove them by emptying your recycle bin, those files will be gone. 
I should stress though, if you are using a OneDrive for business account, then your employer or your school or your college may have actually set up a secondary stage recycle bin, which means even when you empty your recycle bin, your files actually go into a secondary stage recycle bin from which you can return them to your library. So if you're a OneDrive for Business user, you kind of sometimes have a secondary recycle bin. But for everybody else, you get one chance once you fully remove from your recycle bin, those files will be gone. Hopefully you have found this video to be useful. If you have, be sure to hit that like button below. Feel free to drop any comments or questions that you might have in the comments area below and I'll try my best to get back to you. If you are new to the channel and you haven't already done so before, please do consider subscribing. And of course, if you enjoyed this OneDrive video, then maybe you want to check out these other OneDrive tutorials here.